Hello all. In this lecture, we will see about binary files. So in the last lecture, we have seen how to read and write uh, text files. Now in this lecture, we will see about how to read and write binary files. So before going into that binary files, uh, I am using a Jupyter notebook uh, to do this manipulations. You can uh, run in idle also. Or you can do any, use any text editor to run the programs as usual. Uh, I just want to familiarize you with this Jupyter environment also. You can get this uh, by downloading from anaconda.org. If you click this download anaconda, this window will open. And underneath, uh, you can see that uh, you can download a, any of these versions, Windows, Mac, or Linux versions of this Python and you will get the complete Python. So when you want to study this NumPy, then Pandas, and all Matplotlib and all, you require uh, those packages. So this uh, Anaconda, just Jupyter, uh, all this Anaconda will contains all those packages. So it is uh, actually the data science toolkit. So for Python, uh, so for machine learning, everything, all those toolkits are included in this package. So these are the Conda packages which are available. So you can go through this and you can download this. So I'm using the Jupyter Notebook, so it will open in browser. So you can type anything here and can, uh, as you type in, uh, in your command line argument or as you type in your text editor, you can type the programs here also. So we'll go into this binary files. Now we will see how to uh, open a binary file. So in order to open a binary file, it is the usual command you have to use, open. And uh, you have to uh, mention the path of that file. Uh, now I have a binary file uh, inside users uh, in this file uh, CSC. And inside CSC, I have a folder called pictures. And inside, uh, so binary files means uh, except the text files, all of the almost all of the files are binary files. If you take the PDF file or the JPEG images or the video images, everything are the binary files. So I'm using a binary file uh, here. I have a binary file called com.jpg. So this is a binary file uh, which is available in the system. So you can check that uh, if you want. You can see that uh, inside that there is a binary file. Uh, okay, leave it. So um, this is a binary file. Now you have to use. You have to specify the mode also. So the difference is in specifying the mode here. So if you want to open as a read or read mode, you have to use R for text bytes, and if it is for binary files, you have to use RB. Now you can simply run this program. So there will be a syntax error since you are using a Windows system. What you have to do, the problem is with Unicode. So you have to include a R. So it should be taken as a raw data. Otherwise, slash C, slash T and all comes. So it will give error. So you can simply run this program. So there is no error now. Now we have opened the file in read mode. And if you want to file, check the content of this file, then you have to read it read using the same read function okay uh, then after that if you want to check print the content you can either use print content and if you run this program so you will get the binary content of the file it will start with b and the rest of the content so it is actually a jpeg image you won't understand whatever it is written in the binary file so this is actually a binary file so all those details will be available. So you can read the binary details uh, using this. So what I have to do is you have to read using the RP access mode and you have to read it. Then you can print. You can uh, simply, if you are using this Jupyter environment, you can simply type content also and you can simply run this also. You can uh, get this thing. So this is how to uh, read files. Now how to write a binary file. So for that you have to open as a, you have to open uh, use a binary file in write mode. For that you can uh, give any name for that file binary. So I'll give a name uh, binary file one. Let it be. I'll give the file name now, uh, and I have to. So since it is binary file, 
So what you have to do is you have to use WB. Like RB you have to use binary file. Now you can uh, so you can uh, then write the uh, if you want to write something inside this. So you can mul type multiple lines in a box also if you want to write. Uh, I am declaring a list uh, num equal to. I am declaring a list with some elements two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Now uh, I am creating a byte array. Since you want to make it a binary file, I have to make it into a byte array. So it converts into a byte array. So byte array function method converts into a byte array of this number. So this is a list, and now it's converted into a byte array. Now I converted into a byte array. Okay. Now if you want, you can run this. You can check what is there in the file. So this is the content of that byte array. Okay. Now this is the content of that byte array. I'll remove this. You can simply cut this. Okay. Now if you want to write it. Now you have opened it the file. Now you want to write it to the file. So you have to write this thing in the file. Sorry. ARR. So you have written this file. Then after that what you have to do? You have to close it. Close the file. Okay, now we have closed this. You can run this file. Now we have written something. Now if you want to read that file, you have to open the file. I will copy this thing. So you have to open this file in read mode. So you have to open this file in read mode. Then you can use the same uh, content equal to read. Sorry, F dot read, and you can print the content also by simply typing content, or you can simply use the print print content. Okay, now you can run this program. You can see this is the content of that binary file. So this is the content of that binary file. So you have uh, op open a, a binary file right mode. And you have uh, include a list in it, and you have converted that list into a byte array, and you have written that into a file, into that file, binary file dot thing. Mm. And you have opened in read mode, and you have read the content, so you can see the binary content is like this. So you can check the file. So it will be available in that directory. That file will be uh, written in that directory. So this is how you can uh, read and write files. So one thing you have to notice, you can, uh, for reading you have to use RB, and for writing you have to use R WP. So there is no use in reading this binary finder. Uh, in certain cases you may have to read this, you have to take search for some contents in the binary file. Maybe when you do some uh, image compression or image, uh, some video processing and all, you may require this binary files. For that you can use this. Otherwise, we won't use this binary finder. No, you may usually use this uh, text files. So because uh, this is not in human understandable format, this is in binary format. So uh, that's all about uh, binary files. Thank you.